Hey, Seth with Glow Voltage here. The question that I get asked the most, I think, is what are the difference between the, the batteries? Um, this question is becoming especially prevalent now that we have the, the Series 3 available for pre-order. So I wanted to just go ahead and take a couple minutes to discuss the batteries and their differences, their similarities, and who should use what battery and how they would best spend their money. Um, they are all $500 now, so the price is the same across Series 1, 2, or 3, no matter what you want. There's not really one that's better than the other. So let's go ahead and take a look at the batteries and discuss what each one excels at. So which battery should you get if you're considering a glow voltage battery? Well, first, let's talk about some of the differences. Um, the main differences are how many amps of output each one can provide without dropping below 12 volts. That's how we rate our batteries. The next major difference between the batteries, other than, of course, the Series 3 being much smaller, is that the Series 1 has 90 amp hours of capacity. The Series 2 has 48 amp hours of capacity, whereas the Series 3 only has 20 amp hours of capacity. So it's physically the smallest and also has the lowest amount of storage between the batteries. Next is the output. Um, this time we're going to go opposite. This was had the most storage, this was in the middle, this had the least storage. In this situation, this has the most output even though it's the smallest. The Series 3, which will have a Series 3 here similar to these on our production models, this was a prototype, we can get over 640 amps of power above 12 volts. There's no problem. The Series 2, we can get about 535 amps, so a bit less. The Series 1, we get about 475 amps, so still a substantial amount of power. Um, all three of these are fantastic car audio batteries. I don't want to discourage any of them for any purpose there. Uh, we believe they are the, the best available for the money by far. So, if you're still confused, which battery is the right one for you? I personally, I like the Series 2. The Series 2 is a really strong blend of performance and the ability to deliver power on demand while still having twice the amount of storage as this. Um, this is really good for a motorcycle starter battery as well. It fits perfectly on a lot of Harleys, just an OEM swap. But 20 amp hours is kind of low for a car, especially if it's going to be your only battery. Speaking of, if you're deleting your OEM battery, which is the best? Um, if you were in a car, you probably want to avoid the Series 3 because it's only 20 amp hours and you don't want parasitic draw to kill the battery over a weekend or a week that you're not driving your car. Series 2 or Series 1, both excellent choices there. Um, again, it, I guess it just depends on if you need more than the 475 amps of output that the Series 1 can give, you can step it up to the 535 and stick with 48 amp hours of storage still. That said, if the 475 amps is enough, this will get you 90 amp hours of storage and that's probably worth it. Um, because if you don't need that much power and you go ahead and upgrade for the power and never use it, I mean, it's not doing a lot of good. Another difference between them is cold weather performance. While the Series 1 and the Series 3 still perform very well in cold weather, um, they are rated to be charged down to negative 20 Celsius, negative 30 Celsius. This, negative 43 Celsius, both charge and discharge. Um, so with these two negative 20 Celsiuses, that was for the charge speed. They can still charge just fine down to negative 30 Celsius. Um, but if you do live in a very cold weather environment and you want to be using this battery during the winter as you're driving to work, whatever, Series 2 wins. It has the, the blend of output, it has good storage, and it has extreme cold weather performance. So, so we've talked about the differences, but we haven't really determined which battery is right for you. Do you want the Series 1 
Do you want the Series 2 or do you want the Series 3? And in what situations is what battery actually better? The best way that I think about it, genuinely, is get the battery that will supply enough power for your system without going super far over it. And I can explain. We know the Series 1 can put out 475 amps. We know the Series 3 can put out 640, quite a bit more. What if you're using a 3K amplifier? Uh, if you're using a 3K amplifier, you're not even touching the 400 amps that this can put out. So in that situation, if you were to go from a Series 1 to, say, a Series 3, you're never going to use the extra power that this can give you. But you will lose 70 amp hours of reserve by going with this one. So if the Series 1 can cover your power needs, it's probably the best because it has the most capacity. Series 2. It's right in the middle. It has a healthy amount of storage capacity and still has a whole lot of discharge. Um, personally, my preference is the Series 2. This is what I run in my vehicles. Um, so 535 amps of power. You get the, get the cold temperature resistance, so that's always a positive. Now, the Series 3 is going to be best for... If you're running 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 watts, and you're going to need multiple batteries, multiple Series 3s are going to be your best bet for a couple of reasons. And one is the 20 amp hour capacity of this battery doesn't matter nearly as much if there's more than one because you'll be gaining cumulative capacity. The next reason is, is because you need every amp of power you can get. This is the one that can provide it. So since they're all the same price, if not falling below 12 volts and providing as much amperage is the concern, then the Series 3 is the winner. If size is a concern, if you're using these batteries to replace the battery on an ATV or a Harley, once again, the Series 3 has the advantage because the other two are quite a bit bigger. Um, as far as weight, this is 8 pounds. This is 12 pounds and the series one is 20 pounds. So again, these are all the same price now. I hope that kind of shed some light on how they're different. And I will go ahead and post a chart kind of showing the data that we use. And it's a quick reference. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Happy to answer them. Have a good one, everyone.
Series 3 prototype. 